Welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed the definition and some examples of groups. Now we describe some basic but very important properties of groups. We also describe tables associated with finite groups. We conclude the session with a discussion on subgroups. Throughout the discussion, we denote the associativity of the operation in the group by G1, the existence of identity by G2 and the existence of inverse by G3. Properties of groups Theorem 1 Cancellation laws If G is a group with binary operation star, then the left and right cancellation laws hold in G, that is, for every A, B, C in G, a star b is equal to a star c implies b is equal to c and b star a is equal to c star a implies b is equal to c. Proof. Suppose a star b is equal to a star c. Now by g3 existence of inverse law a inverse the inverse of a exists and a inverse star a star b is equal to a inverse star a star c. By g1 the associative law we have a inverse star a star b is equal to a inverse star a star c. Question number 1. By the definition of a inverse in G3, a inverse star a is equal to e. So, 1 reduces to e star b is equal to e star c. Question number 2. Using the definition of e in G2, 2 gives b is equal to c. That is, we have shown that a star b is equal to a star c implies b is equal to c. Similarly, it can be shown that b star a is equal to c star a implies b is equal to c. Remark, in the additive notation, the above result can be stated as a plus b is equal to a plus c implies b is equal to c and b plus a is equal to c plus a implies b is equal to c. Theorem 2, solvability of equations. If g is a group with binary operation star and if a and B are elements of G, then the linear equation A star X is equal to B has unique solution in G. Also, the linear equation Y star A is equal to B has unique solution in G. Proof. The proof has two parts. We first prove the existence of a solution. Then we prove that the solution is unique. Existence part. Claim. A inverse star B is a solution of A star X is equal to B. Note that A star A inverse star B is equal to A star A inverse star B by G1 the associative law which is equal to E star B by G3 the definition of A inverse which is equal to B by G2 the property of E. Thus X equal to A inverse star B is a solution of A star X is equal to B. Uniqueness part to show that the solution X equal to A inverse star B is unique. We use the standard method of assuming that we have two solutions x and x1 so that a star x is equal to b and a star x1 is equal to b. Then a star x is equal to a star x1 and by the cancellation law we have x is equal to x1 showing the uniqueness of x. Proceeding as above it can be seen that y is equal to b star a inverse is a solution of y star a is equal to b and it is a unique solution. Theorem 3 Uniqueness of identity In a group G with binary operation star there is only one identity E such that E star x is equal to x star E is equal to x for every x in G. Proof to show the uniqueness of identity, we use the standard method of assuming that we have two elements E and E1 such that E star X is equal to X star E is equal to X and E1 star X is equal to X star E1 is equal to X for every X in G. Claim E1 is equal to E. Consider the product E star E1. Regarding E as the identity, E star E1 is equal to E1. Equation number 3. Regarding E1 as the identity, E star E1 is equal to E. Equation number 4. LHS of 3 and 4 are the same and hence we have E1 is equal to E showing that identity of a group is unique. Theorem 4. Uniqueness of inverse. In a group G with binary operation star, for each A in G, there is one and only one element A inverse such that A inverse star A is equal to A star A inverse is equal to E where E is the identity element in G with respect to the operation star.
proof. To show the uniqueness of inverse, we assume that A belongs to G has inverses A inverse and A dash. So that A inverse star A is equal to A star A inverse which is equal to E and A dash star A is equal to A star A dash is equal to E. Equation number 5. Claim A dash is equal to A inverse. From 5, we have A star A dash is equal to A star A inverse and by the cancellation law A dash is equal to A inverse. So, the inverse of A in a group is unique. Theorem 5. Reversal law. Let G be a group. For all A, B in G, we have A star B whole inverse is equal to B inverse star A inverse. Proof. Suppose A, B belongs to G. If a inverse and B inverse are the inverses of A and B respectively, then A inverse star A is equal to A star A inverse is equal to E and B inverse star B is equal to B star B inverse is equal to E equation number 6. Now, A star B star B inverse star A inverse is equal to A star B star B inverse star A inverse by G1 which is equal to A star B star B inverse star A inverse by G1 which is equal to A star E star A inverse by G3 which implies A star A inverse by G2 which is equal to E by G3. By the same sequence of arguments it can be shown that B inverse star A inverse star A star B is equal to E. Hence A star B star B inverse star A inverse is equal to E is equal to B inverse star A inverse star A star B. Hence, the inverse of A star B is B inverse star A inverse that is A star B whole inverse is equal to B inverse star A inverse. Remark, if G is an abelian group then for all A B in G we have A star B whole inverse is equal to B inverse star A inverse which is equal to A inverse star B inverse. Theorem 6. Let G be a group. If the inverse of A is A inverse, then the inverse of A inverse is A. Proof. Let A belongs to G and A inverse be its inverse. If E is the identity element, by the definition of inverse, we have A inverse star A is equal to A star A inverse is equal to E. Also, A belongs to G implies A inverse belongs to G. Inverse of A inverse is in G. Let A inverse whole inverse be the inverse of A inverse. Then A inverse whole inverse star A inverse is equal to E by G3. Now A inverse whole inverse star A inverse is equal to E implies A inverse whole inverse star A inverse star A is equal to E star A which implies A inverse whole inverse star A inverse star A is equal to A. Applying G1 on the LHS and G2 on the RHS implies a inverse whole inverse star E is equal to A by G3 which implies A inverse whole inverse is equal to A by G2 which implies A is the inverse of A inverse. Example, if star is a binary operation on a set S, an element X of S is an idempotent for star if X star X is equal to X. Prove that a group G has exactly one idempotent element. Solution. Clearly, E is an idempotent element. Let X be another idempotent element in G. Then, X inverse belongs to G. Also, E is equal to X star X inverse is equal to X star X star X inverse. Since, X is equal to X star X, which is equal to X star X star X inverse by G1, which is equal to X star E by G3 is equal to X by G2. Example. Show that every group G with identity E and such that X star X is equal to E for every X in G is abelian. Solution. Consider A star B star A star B. Then by the given assumption A star B star A star B is equal to E and by the associativity A star B star A star B is equal to E. Now pre-multiply by A and the multiply on the right by B to get A star A star B star A star B star B is equal to A star B and again by the given assumption that is A star A is equal to E and B star B is equal to E the above implies B star A is equal to A star B. Example, 
if a b whole square is equal to a square b square then show that the group is abelian solution we have a b whole square is equal to a square b square or a b into a b is equal to a a into b b or a into b a into b is equal to a into a b into b by associative law or b a into b is equal to a b into b by left cancellation law or b a is equal to a b by right cancellation law hence the group is abelian example if every element of a group b its own inverse then show that the group is abelian solution let a b belongs to g since every element is its own inverse a is equal to a inverse b is equal to b inverse since a b belongs to g implies b a belongs to g and b a whole inverse is equal to b a now a b is equal to a inverse b inverse which is equal to b a whole inverse is equal to b a hence the group is abelian finite groups and group tables we now consider group structures on finite sets and draw a table for an arbitrary group of order 2 group containing single element only since a group has to have at least one element namely the identity a minimal set that might give rise to a group is a one element set the set consisting of e the only possible binary operation star on the set e is defined by e star e is equal to e the three group axioms holds in particular the identity element is its own inverse group containing two elements since one of the elements must play the role of identity element we may let the two elements set as set e a hence a not equal to e let us set them to find a table for a binary operation star on set e a that gives a group structure on set e a when giving a table for a group operation we shall always list the elements in the same order across the top as down the left side with the identity element listed first as in the following table since e is to be the identity so e star x is equal to x star e is equal to x for every x in e a and hence we are forced to fill the table as follows if star is to give a group also a must have an inverse a inverse such that a inverse star a is equal to a star a inverse is equal to e in our case a inverse must be either e or a since a inverse is equal to e obviously does not work since then a is equal to e which is not true we must have a inverse is equal to a so we have to complete the table as follows all the group axioms are now satisfied group containing n elements fix a positive integer n let un denote the set of all n solution in c of the equation z raised to n is equal to 1 that is un is equal to set consisting of z belongs to c such that z raised to n is equal to 1 un is the set of all nth roots of unity we verify that for a given n un is a finite abelian group under multiplication closure property let z1 z2 belongs to un then z1 raised to n is equal to 1 z2 raised to n is equal to 1 and hence z1 z2 whole raised to n is equal to z1 raised to n z2 raised to n is equal to 1 showing that z1 z2 belongs to un g1 associativity holds since multiplication of complex numbers is associative g2 one is one among nth roots of unity and hence one belongs to un and it is the identity element g3 let z belongs to un then z raised to n is equal to 1 consider 1 by z now 1 by z whole raised to n is equal to 1 by z raised to n is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 showing that 1 by z belongs to un also z into 1 by z is equal to 1 by z into z which is equal to 1 so that inverse of z belongs to un is 1 by z belongs to un g4 since multiplication of complex numbers is commutative un is an abelian group since un has only finite number of elements un is a finite abelian group special cases when n is equal to 1 u1 is equal to set 1 when n is equal to 2 u2 is equal to set 1 minus 1 when 
when n is equal to 3, u3 is equal to set 1 minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 and is usually denoted by u3 is equal to set 1 omega omega square where omega is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 omega square is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 when n is equal to 4 u4 is equal to set 1 minus 1 i minus i subgroups we now turn our discussion on subgroups here in after we write a b for a star b definition induced operation let g be a group and let s be a subset of g if for all a b in s it is true that the product a b computed in g is also in s then s is closed under the group operation of g the binary operation on s thus defined is called the induced operation on s from g example 1 the subset q of r is closed under the operation plus on r since the sum of two rational numbers is again a rational number plus is an induced operation on q from r however the subset r star of non zero real numbers is not closed under plus since 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0 not an element of r star hence plus is not an induced operation on r star from r definition subgroup if a subset h of a group g is closed under the binary operation of g and if h itself is a group then h is a subgroup of g notation we shall denote h is a subgroup by writing h is a subgroup of g the notation h is a proper subgroup of g means h is a subgroup of g but h not is equal to g example 2 z plus is a subgroup of r plus q plus is a subgroup of r plus q star multiplication is a subgroup of r star multiplication q plus multiplication is not a subgroup of r addition even though as set q plus subset of r but the operation on q plus is not an induced operation definition proper and trivial subgroup if g is a group then g itself is a subgroup and is the improper subgroup of g all other subgroups are proper subgroups the subgroup set e is a trivial subgroup of g all other subgroup are non trivial example 3 the multiplicative group 1 minus 1 is a subgroup of the multiplicative group 1 minus 1 i minus i example 4 the additive group of even integers is a subgroup of the additive group of integers example 5 let c star be the multiplicative group of all non zero complex numbers a plus i b a b real not both zero and let h is equal to the set a plus i b such that a square plus b square is equal to 1 then h is a subgroup of g example 6 let r n be the additive group of all n component row vectors with real number entries the subset consisting of all these vectors having zero as entry in the first component is a subgroup of r n that is the set x is equal to 0 x2 x3 etc xn such that xi belong to r is a subgroup of the group rn is equal to the set consisting of x equal to x1 x2 x3 etc xn such that xi belong to r example there are two different types of group structures of order 4 and they are z4 and v which are described in the following group tables the elements of set 4 are the possibilities for the no negative remainder when an integer is divided by 4 hence set 4 is equal to set 0 1 2 3 a addition modulo 4 b is equal to the no negative remainder obtained when a plus b is divided by 4 table 1 set 4 group table 2 clean 4 group the only non trivial proper subgroup of set 4 is set 0 2 Note that set 0, 3 is not a subgroup of set 4 since set 0, 3 is not closed under addition modulo 4 as 3 addition modulo 4, 3 is equal to 2 not an element of set 0, 3. However, the group B has 3 non-trivial proper subgroups set EA, set EB and set EC. Here set EAB is not closed under the operation of V. For example, AB is equal to C, not an element of set EAB. 
the lattice diagram for Z4 and V are given below. Example, Q plus under multiplication is a proper subgroup of R plus under multiplication. Example, for any natural number n, un, the set of nth roots of unity in C form a subgroup of the group C star of non-zero complex number under multiplication. Theorem 7. A subset H of a group G is a subgroup of G if and only if the following hold. H is closed under the binary operation of G. The identity element E of G is in H. For all A in H, it is true that A inverse belongs to H also. Proof. Assume that H is a subgroup of G. Then, from the definition of a subgroup, H is closed under the binary operation of G. If A belongs to H, by theorem 2, the equation Ax equal to A must have a unique solution, namely the identity element of H. But this equation can be viewed as 1 in G and we see that this unique solution must also be the identity E of G. Hence, the identity E of G is in H. A similar argument then applied to the equation Ax equal to E viewed in both H and G shows that the inverse A inverse of A in G is also the inverse of A in the subgroup. Conversely, assume that the three conditions hold as H is a subset of G, associativity of the operation also hold. Hence, H is a subgroup of G. Theorem 8. A necessary and sufficient condition that a non-empty subset H of a group G is a subgroup of G is that A belongs to H, B belongs to H implies AB inverse belongs to H. Proof. The condition is necessary. Suppose H is a subgroup of G. Let A belongs to H, B belongs to H. Then since H is a subgroup, we have by theorem 7, B belongs to H implies B inverse belongs to H. And a belongs to H, B inverse belongs to H implies A B inverse belongs to H by closure property. Thus, A belongs to H, B belongs to H implies A B inverse belongs to H. The condition is sufficient. Suppose A belongs to H, B belongs to H implies A B inverse belongs to H, equation number 1. Then, we have to show that H is a subgroup of G. Let A belongs to H. Then by 1, we have A belongs to H. A belongs to H implies A, A inverse belong to H implies E belongs to H. Again, E belongs to H, A belongs to H implies E, A inverse is equal to A inverse belongs to H. Thus, the identity E is in H and the inverse of every element of H also belong to H. Let now A and B be any members of H. Then, by the discussion just above, B inverse belongs to H. Therefore, using 1, we have A belongs to H, B inverse belongs to H implies A, B inverse, whole inverse is equal to A, B belongs to H. Proving that H is closed under the binary operation of G. Hence, the three conditions in theorem 7 are satisfied and so H is a subgroup of G. Now, let us summarize the discussion. In this session, we have considered some preliminary properties of groups. We have briefly introduced the finite and infinite groups. Definition and some examples of subgroups are also discussed. Hope all of you enjoyed this session. See you next time. Before that, try the following assignments. 1. Complete the following operation table where G is equal to set consisting of E, A and B is a group under the operation star. Is it abelian? 2. Complete the following table in two different ways so that both of them give groups. 3. Prove that a finite subset H of a group G with a given operation star is a subgroup of H if and only if A belongs to H, B belongs to H implies AB belongs to H. 4. Give an example of a group with operation star and identity element E such that X star X is equal to E has more than Two solutions. Here are some books for your reference. Okay. Ian Hurstein, Topics in Algebra, Ville Eastern Limited, New Delhi, 1975. Nadan Jacobson, Basic Algebra, Volume 1, Hindustan Publishing Corporation, India, Delhi, 1993. John B. Fraley, A First Course in Abstract Algebra, 5th edition, Edison, Wesley, California, 1999. 
विजय के खन्ना एस के बाम्बरी एकोसिन एब्सट्रैक्ट आलजिब्रा विकास पब्लिशिंग हाउस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड न्यू डेली नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सिक्स होप यू एंजॉय दिस सेशन सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम टिल देन गुड बाय